Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Just a quick one this week on how I central dowel my taller cakes. Firstly, I'll just touch on why I choose to center dowel certain cakes. I'll often just take a three or four tier cake as normal with the usual internal dowels. The only time I use a central one is usually when there's a double barrel tier. These are much taller and narrower than usual. I like to have the peace of mind that that tier isn't going to slide off the cake below it due to its extra height should we go around a corner on deliveries. As it's mostly just to stop the tiers from sliding and not really for a complex structure that needs to hold weight, I'd just use wooden dowels instead of threaded rod, as that's all that's needed. If you were making something gravity defying, weirdly shaped or heavy, of course you would opt for the threaded rod instead. But just for this one, it's a regular tiered wedding cake, just tall in the center, so I'm going to use wood. Firstly, I stick two of my drums together. I have my main drum, which is my base, and then a smaller one, which gets hot glued underneath it. I try to keep the hot glue around the edges and leave the center open to get my drill bit through. This is just to add extra depth to that board so your dowel has something good to grip onto. Once it's set, you want to flip it over and find the center of your board. I often mark this in several places until I have a little star showing me exactly where I need to drill. I then do the same for every single size drum that my cake is going to be. Here is my nine inch base cake, my seven inch cake, which is going to be my double barrel. And this is why I have my foam core to support it halfway up. I love foam core, as you can see, it's nice and easy just to notch out a hole in the center. And you'll notice it's smaller than my seven inch board. This just allows me carving room if I need it. Then finally, my five inch top tier. Now the drums I have here are the old kind, which are solid, compact, like sort of sawdust material. But I know the new ones are much more hollow and I haven't actually tried central doweling those yet, but I can see it coming up in the future. So I'll let you know how I get on. But to be honest, I prefer to use foam core for central doweling and you'll see why in a second. So I'm just using my drill with a drill bit that is 12 millimeters wide. My dowel is actually 15 millimeters wide, but because we're working with sawdust material and not wood, the hole actually chews itself a little bit bigger as we're drilling it. So always use a drill bit slightly smaller than your dowel. Now don't do this on your worktop. I've stopped here, but I'm actually going to remove this and drill a bit further down as the end of the drill will actually poke out a little bit of the bottom and I don't want to damage my worktop. You just want to make sure the hole goes through the top drum and halfway down the second drum. And then I'm filling that hole with some hot glue and pushing my dowel into the center, making sure to get as deep as I can with a couple taps of the hammer. Then take two scrapers or set squares to make sure your dowel is level all the way around. For the height of your dowel, I usually just measure the height of my cakes and make sure it finishes just as it enters the top tier so it doesn't risk poking out the top. Once you've leveled the dowel, leave it to set and then go in around the base for extra security. Now here is a drum with the centre drilled out. It's full of bitty sawdust, so I've contained it all in by running tape through the hole and securing it underneath and on top of the drum. It's fully secured and it's only going to be touching the central dowel, but it's never really ideal, is it? You can then cover that tape with greaseproof circle so it doesn't come into contact with the cake sitting on it. Really, foam core is a much cleaner cut, which is why I prefer it, but I know people still like to use the drums instead, so I'm showing that option here. You'll notice if you've watched American's central dowel cake, they just knock a skewer in from the top all the way down the cake tiers and into the baseboard. But that's impossible for our cake cards and drums that are made from much tougher stuff, so they need pre-drilling beforehand and slotting on. To cover our dowel, I'm using bubble tea straws as they really hug and attach themselves around it with it being the same cylindrical shape. Just cut it in half lengthways, open it up and it snaps itself around it. Just pop another one on the other side if you have a thicker dowel. For the top exposed wood, I'm just taping this up before securing it all with more straws. Now 
Then for your hot glue on the base, you can either cover it with greaseproof paper, melted chocolate, or if you've got a baseboard underneath your first tier like I have on my 9 inch, you can pop it straight on as the hot glue won't be up high enough to come into contact with your sponge. I've just got some ganache to stick my first tier down and I've threaded it over the rod. Slowly lower it, allowing the dowel to burst through the top icing and then quickly move your fingers out the way to allow it to drop straight. Flatten the top icing back out and add dowels ready for the double barrel. Again, I'm using ganache as glue and lowering the next tier down. Now this drops slower as the dowel is slowly piercing its way through the top icing, allowing a little extra time just to get your fingers out. Wiggle it into position. This is where it pays to drill your cake board holes slightly wider in the middle if you need to center it. Now you can just see that little bit of center dowel poking out which is sufficient enough to not let that top cake slide off. It will be held on by that little top and helped with more ganache glue and regular dowels to hold it on that double barrel tier. And we're done! I'll finish decorating it and get that tutorial up soon, but this is the fully doweled cake which I feel much safer transporting with that super tall central tier, having a dowel to hold it, as it was the hottest day in the UK so far. If this was just a regular 9, 7 and 5 inch tiered cake without that extra height in the middle, I would be happy without a central dowel. You can just pick and choose which you feel may needs one on its journey. Hope this helps, stick around to see the tutorial for this cake over the next week or so. Thanks guys, see you next week. Next week.